styling your hair upright. You section off the hair at the top. You work with one section at a time. You get it wet and you start getting your Denman brush through here so that you can get it really smooth. This Denman brush is going to help you to uh, get less frizz in your hair and it's gonna help the curls to clump better. Okay, uh, and then we're going for the liquid styler. I just rub that between my hands, coat that on. For me personally, I can't put too much of this liquid styler. I can use it to actually wet my hair, okay? Uh, so I don't need to just use water. I have found that the product will go a little farther, obviously. I won't use as much, I mean if I wet my hair first. So then that's just kind of, you know, pinch and pennies. Um, so I don't have to use as much product. But, um, but you, can, you can just apply it directly to your hair until it's wet and you won't be getting too much product. That's what I love about this product because nobody wants to feel like, you know, they spent all this time and money on products and then they're like, oh, that was way too heavy for my hair, dang it. Now I have to rinse it out and start over, right? This is a lightweight styler and you can use it to wet your hair. So this is how I'm getting it in my hair and then I'm making sure to lift that up away from my roots. So when I do this um, on a normal basis, I will have wet hair to begin with. I'll pull out the next section and then I will get my Denman brush and I will put it through the section that I'm about to work on. Applying tension, lifting up and curving, and then that gets the roots lifted, and I don't want to let this fall. I just hold it in my hand, and then I can go and start the pirouetting. I just take one curl at a time, make sure that they're not too big of sections, and just kind of get that going at the top. Lift up, curve, lift up, curve. These are really big clumps. Lift up, curve, and then I just finish kind of smoothing down, but I don't, I don't twirl really tight or the hairs will go straight. Lift up, curve, okay? And then I can just, you know, take a few minutes to do this. The thing is, is when you, um, you have your head hanging upside down, it really makes your neck hurt. If the clump of hair that you're using is attached in several places, uh, like this one is several curls, you really do need to separate them. If this curl right here, when I pull out and start working with it, is attached to the hairs down below, I really need to separate that. Otherwise, what you're going to do is cause it to get straight at the roots because it's going to be clinging to the hairs below it, okay? That's one of the things that people do, especially as their hair gets longer, that causes them to have straight roots all the time. So um, if you separate this out into a curl clump that's not attached to anything else, it's free-flowing, then you can really get the root to, to curl and get going there really lift up right there at that root and then the curl will follow and you will not get a straight piece there. Okay guys, hopefully you're learning something. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the root clips here in just a second. I'm gonna use my finger just to get this going and to kind of get it lifted up. Make sure it's kind of smooth right there and really going in that opposite direction and then getting that set. So that was the pirouetting right there at the root. Do you see that? Okay, and then that's going to give me the volume right there that I need to create a curl right at the root. I think for those of you who come and watch, if you are patient and you get through the whole video, you'll just learn so much. Okay, so I'm just going to move on to the next section so that I can show you how I place these, um, these clips that I got here. Really nice clips. All right, when I move on to the next section... I do not want it to fall down on the hairs I've already fixed up, so I need to divide it with my fingers 
Oh, I, I think I did get some that fell down right here. There we go. <laughs> I guess I should start laughing now, right? Jeez. Okay, so what you can do is hold this in your hand. You got your finger along the side and you just slide it through to separate that. Um, how do I get this back up while I'm holding the other one? Oh, you know, you'll figure it out. Two, one hand in it, right? Here we go. I'm doing this. Little water, not too much, because I'm doing just a quick refresh today. Get my Demon brush to help me distribute that and to get that going up curving at the root okay and then because i don't want to let go of this hair i'm going to pour this liquid right on my hair as i'm going like this through my hair i can tell that i have more than one layer here so i'm going to divide this a little bit more and then get going Lift up, twist at that root, lift up, and you really should smooth it after you lift it up, otherwise it's not going to last. Okay? How long does it take you to refresh your hair? The only reason I'm turning my head down is so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to just pretend like I'm doing this at home. I am at home. <laughs> Okay, I didn't get out any of my mousse or my essential slip primer or my flaxseed cream gel. I think I will kind of coat my hair a little bit with that when I'm all done getting these hairs set. How many layers uh, do you think I need to do on my head? Three, four? Well, since we're trying to keep the hairs from connecting to the other layers, I'm going to need a lot. Okay, guys, um, that's one thing that people don't realize, and then their hair, their roots get straight because it's stuck to the other layers. So, in this little amount of hair that I have here, let's see, oh, this is just not that much hair. Let me see if I can show you how much hair this is. My little mohawk area here. It's just from my crown forward. I know. One, two, three, four, at least. So I'm going to separate from the back farthest layer first. Now at this point, it's almost easier to just let your hair kind of hang here, but I'm still not bent all the way over. I have a lot of hair. Um, for those of you who have lower density hair, you wouldn't need to divide it into so many sections. I've already done three or four down below on the back of my head, right? And then I'm going to do four or five more on the very top of my head. Whoever's here points to you. <laughs> you know, I used to actually play games and I would give away points for people who would watch videos or who would comment and they would get free prizes. Um, I would send them free products, and that was really fun. I've been doing that on um, Instagram and stuff, and if you think that you're able to um, do a demo of your hair and how you style your hair, include a hashtag, nofrizz10, on your Instagram page or on your Facebook page, then um, people will start to see my name. They'll start to want to learn more. You may or may not even be using my products, but you're using my um, curly hair techniques. You're using my advice, right? And so you can use my hashtag for that stuff. This is so nice. I just am so happy about this right now because I'm not bent over with my back hurting and my neck hurting. I... 
I'm moving a little slow because my hair was kind of dry to begin with, but, but I'm feeling like I'm getting close to the end here. What are you spraying and using as you work on your hair? Okay, this blue bottle is just water and I'm not using a ton of water today. My hair is not dripping at all. And then this is the level one spritz um, styler, the detangle and define liquid. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the ribboning right now. The ribboning um, can actually be combined with the pirouetting because you see how I lift that root and my hair is all forward and then I, I turn. So I actually already just did the pirouetting at the beginning of that. And then it enhances the rest of the curl. So how long will my hair last if I sit here and work on it for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so like this? Um, as long as I don't go brushing it and um, playing with it a lot, if I have a good sleep routine where I can preserve my curls overnight, then there's no reason why this style wouldn't last three, four days. So it depends on how you handle your hair. Now, if your hair gets really, really dry and you need more moisture on it every couple of days and you can't go three or four days without applying more conditioner or gel or something like that, then you know, you'll know you have to refresh a little bit and add a little bit of product, but um, you can touch up curls without having to re-wet your whole head and retwirl everything, okay? I want you to think about what I'm doing here. For all of those who are watching this and you're thinking, well, she's just twirling her hair, what's the big deal? I'm doing so much more than that. I'm getting all the hair going upward in the opposite direction of hair growth. I'm smoothing the hair all the way down to the end don't forget to smooth it all the way down or you'll have dry frizzy ends. Don't just smooth the top, right? I'm twirling it right at the root to really create that lift right there and then I'm getting the curl to follow through, okay? And I am not only twirling because look what happens when you take some hair and you twirl it. Twirl, 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 just like people do. They twirl it and then look, the hair turns perfectly straight. I do not do these kind of curls because the hair just gets perfectly straight. Even if I was to go and scrunch that, it would still be very straight. So I do not twirl like that. That is why I created the ribboning technique a few years ago. First one to do it on YouTube, guys. People are starting to do it all over Instagram nowadays, and they're getting... I can't do it the way they do it. Um, it's a new thing where they, they... Let me see if I can do it. I don't even know. You might have seen this. They, they started doing it where they get their fingers in a loop. How do they do it? I, I've, I, you guys might know what I, what I mean. Let me see. Let me get this a little bit more wet. They go really fast. Um, let's get this going. I don't, I don't even know. How do I? Okay. You got to get two fingers in here. There you go. Oh, I think they have to start at the bottom. That's how they do it, maybe. They start at the bottom and they, yeah, that's how they do it. They start at the bottom and they start going like this. But how do you get the second finger in there? How do you get the end down inside? Have you seen them do this on the internet? On Instagram and stuff? They go like this. Okay, I managed to get both fingers inside the same hole, same loop, and you go like this. So they've been going like this. Now, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is the first time I actually got even that close. I got other hairs from the rest of my, my head trapped in there, and they almost ripped out. And then um, they're all tangled up and wrapped around. Oh my gosh. Let me see. Okay, it's hard to see, but they got caught in there. I felt them coming, so I was really careful, but if I wasn't careful, I would have just ripped out some of my hair. Okay, so did this curl my hair? Yes, it made a nice ringlet. Was it very difficult to get started? Yes. Did I almost rip my hair out? Yeah, so I, I don't think that this is a better technique that people have started doing on Instagram. I'm not sure what they're even calling it. People are probably starting to do it on YouTube and stuff too. 
but I, I started ribboning you guys. You get the hair smooth, you get it all going in the same direction, you get the lift at the root, and you get the curl definition. You keep the hair from twisting, you keep it flat, okay? And you just wrap it around one finger. You can make sure you're not getting it caught on anything. You can take your time, but it's not, it's not like it takes a long time. And then you know if you have enough product because whether or not the ends are sticking out. So then this can help you to kind of judge that. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little product on the end. And when this will lay smooth all on its own, you know that you've got it in there, right? I think I've got it kind of starting to fall off there. That's pretty good. And then you give that a squeeze. You do not have to go and scrunch when you're all done because if you do, oh, this is such a prettier curl. Look at that. It's shrunk up so much more and it's really scrunched nicely. Oh my gosh. Wow. See, you guys, spread the word, all right? No frizz 10 ribboning is awesome. It's so much easier to use and better than these other things that are becoming all these new hot fads. They're... Okay, anyway. <laughs> there, I went on my little rant. Okay, guys, I am so glad I just did that. That is so cool looking. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, so trust me, okay? There's a lot going on here. It's not just a fast, pretty little thing that looks cool. It, it's actually doing stuff. Wow. You can feel if it's not smooth. You can feel if there's going to be frizz because it's going to be rough. Get those ends moisturized. Oh, I just spilled it all over myself. <laughs> I used way too much. All right. Now, I don't really have bangs, um, but I'm just still working forward. Hmm. I, I don't like to cut bangs because I feel like they don't blend with the rest of my hair. The rest of my hair um, has long layers and if you have short bangs right here, when you flip your hair back, you'll have little pieces that just stick up right there and then everything else will start down here and it won't blend. So that's why I like to have long bangs to um, blend in with my long layers. Do this gently. You know, relax your arms, relax your muscles, pull your hands down a little closer to your head after you get that hair aligned. You don't have to pull up really hard the entire time. I start to get kind of um, into it and I get really intense, right? And I'm like, oh, I gotta loosen up my arms. So get the hair going up and then once that is, is up and ready, you can kind of relax, okay guys? <laughs> I really ended up doing a lot of um, layers there on top of my head, didn't I? Okay. I haven't got a really good look at my bangs in a while. Um, remember, I had a lot of hair loss after my last child. Um, so my hair is not as full as it used to be. I've still got a lot of hair growing back in. My hairline is really starting to look nice. I've got little baby hairs growing in and filling in. My little widow's peak is coming back. So I might eventually cut uh, just a tiny bit of this right here, uh, just to help add some pretty pieces around my face. The last time that I washed my hair, I used um, a little bit of diluted leave-in, and then I used the Essential Slip Primer and the Flaxseed Cream Gel. And so my hair is nice and moisturized, it is really holding the moisture over several days, and it's really been nice. Um, so I haven't had to worry about my hair getting dried out. It's really been nice. The flaxseed cream gel is on sale right now, you guys. I've got a BOGO deal going on. Buy one, get one free. Um, they come in sets with another product. So if you buy the one product... Um, at full price, you get a flaxseed cream gel in a comparable size that is free. So, totally awesome sale. They are on my Facebook page right now. If you scroll down, you'll see it. And um, that, that product is my favorite product, guys. Flaxseed cream gel. It was the first gel that I created. 
and it makes your curls last it is just amazing so I hope that you guys will go check that out all right hey <laughs> This hair, I feel like, see, is a little bit thinner. Okay, so what have I done to get my hair to grow back? Did you guys hear? Well, I decided to create hair growth treatment product, and it is really helping. I have just been so happy with it. I used it for, I think it was six to eight weeks, and then I felt like I had enough hair growth that my hairline all of a sudden just looked great. Um, my volume and my hair started coming back and uh, I've been rubbing it throughout most of my scalp but primarily right here at the front and it's just been wonderful so the hair growth drops you can get those on my website I haven't been dripping water everywhere and so that's cool now remember if you don't want your hair to fall in your face that you could curl these backwards, but I'm gonna go ahead and curl them forward. I'm gonna start lifting up. I'm gonna get them all smoothing and going in the same direction. And then this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna um, get them going in the ribboning. And once I get that ribboning all done and ready, I'm gonna twirl it behind and just hold the front while pulling at the back. And that is going to make it dry staying back so it won't fall in my face will the flaxseed cream gel work in a pump bottle or is it too thick it will work in a pump bottle okay let me explain though a little bit about this my flaxseed cream gel if you make it homemade because I have a recipe people can buy and then make this homemade there will be then three different versions that you can make with that same recipe the thickest most moisturizing um, version um, I'm trying to remember if it will come out of a spray, I mean, a pump bottle. I think it will, but you have to like kind of shake it and, and get it kind of, um, you know, mixed up a little bit before it would, but that's just for the thickest version. The version that I sell on my website is the level two moisture and it comes out in a pump bottle. Now I sell it in a, um, a large bottle that's an open mouth container. Um, I can show you the consistency of that in just a second, okay? But yes, it will come out in a pump bottle. Okay, we have another question here. I'm using the growth drops and really think my hair is getting thicker around my face. Awesome. I'm so excited. Um, I've been collecting reviews. You, I think you guys know this. Um, I've, I just released so many new products. And so I have sent out a whole bunch of new um, samples and testers to people. Um, and we are collecting reviews and things are rolling in and really looking good. So pretty soon I'll have new stats and, and, and uh, testimonials and, and all of that for everybody, okay? So I just got two or three more curls here and then I will show you the consistency of this flaxseed cream gel. And I think I will go ahead and scrunch some in on my hair too. Got a baby coming down. This one's actually two curls, that's okay. He's going to want me to nurse and watch. <laughs> I am still nursing him. Yes, he is over two years old. Look at that lift. We're getting right there at the front because I'm pulling that forward. Okay, one more hair, guys. You can put this right on your fingertips. It won't drip out of your fingers. Hi, Avilo. hair was attached to another piece doesn't know which way it wants to go okay so now we have done an upright refresh I've done a little bit of water and level one styler and then I want to keep my roots from getting flat while they dry I'm just gonna air dry today um, so what I'm gonna do I just want to quickly wipe this off so that I can hey. be on my way but normally I would just rub that into my skin uh, what I want to do is show you how I use these clips, okay? Um, you just basically go in and you start clipping them at your root. Okay, so what I've been doing at night when I get my hair done, I take a few of these and I will 
um, clip like this right here. Uh, and then that keeps it lifted up at night while I sleep. I sleep on the, the my hair all scrunched up against my pillow like this. It keeps my hair from flopping around in my face and it keeps the roots lifted um, while it dries at night. Let me tell you a little bit more about how I do this. Um, I usually have my hair going all back. And then I will gently grab kind of a clump like this and then I'll secure it with the, the clip and make sure that it's kind of pushed forward and that it's nice and stationary, it's not going to slide down. That's going to give me volume on my crown. That is going to give me volume at my roots because I push that all forward and the air can get up in there while it's drying. Okay? And then I can go and do that on the sides as well. There's probably not really a wrong way to do this. But I've seen some people put them right on their part, if they have a part in their hair. Instead of opening it up with the clip on the top and the bottom, I turned it, right, so that it opens up from left to right and it's opened up vertically. Okay? So then I keep it in that vertical fashion. I do it on the other side of my head. And while I pinch, I kind of slide the hair up, and then I get that to, to pinch, uh, to secure into a position where it's not going to slide, okay? I think that's going to disturb the roots less in such a way that they're going to cause frizz, so that's going to give me that lift that I need while it dries. I have just been absolutely loving these clips. Now, they look a little funny, depending on where you place them. Like this one's really far forward, so it looks kind of funny. But if I put these in just the right place, maybe two of them, then I would be able to go out to the grocery store and have my hair drying and it, I wouldn't look silly, you know what I mean? And I really love to use bobby pins for root lifting um, tips as well and I can put the link for my video on YouTube that shows you how to do that with bobby pins. But I just really wanted to show you guys these clips because they have been helping me so much. So you can see how those are positioned and it will get that lift right here at my crown that I really need. <sighs> so, um, okay, I wanted to show you the flaxseed cream gel. Um, it is thick in the container. Most of my products are pretty thick, okay? It's not gonna run out, which I just love. Who wants to pay for a product and have it fall out of the bottle when you tip it, or if you're not paying attention? I swear, I, I don't like that, right? So when you go to scoop into it, it's actually very, very creamy. Now, because I don't have a lot of water on my hair, and because this is, um, you know, a moisturizing product, I'm going, I should have mixed that with a little bit of water, but I can't hold on to it now that I already rubbed it around. So I'm going to mix it with my um, primer, my Essential Slip Primer, the Gorgum Gel, and just a couple, mm, just a couple pumps of that. I'm going to make sure it's all mixed together. Normally, I kind of swirl it in my hand first before I go spreading it. I don't know what I was thinking. That's okay. <laughs> All right, so this has made a really nice kind of a, I don't know if you can even see it, it's kind of a gooey cream gel, okay? And uh, this way it won't be too heavy because like I said, I have already um, put all the product in my hair the other day when I washed it and so, and my hair is not dried out yet because it stayed so well, so I don't want to add too much moisture. I'm just doing a light coating and then I'm going to scrunch this in on the ends. Now, because I went ahead and put these root clips in first, I'm not going to get it up here, but you know, hey, I guess I can try. There we go. And then scrunch in. I have a feeling this is going to be a good refresh, guys. Even though I didn't get it soaking wet and even though I didn't use a ton of product, squeeze tight and uh, and that's it. This is not a drippy, wet refresh. I think it's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to let this air dry. A few ringlets there that I formed. And I'm going to have a lot of volume. I didn't get a kink in my neck. I got through tangles really easily and all of that. This was really fun. Later today, I'll come on when my hair is dry. And I will definitely show it to you. I don't know. I think it's been about three hours since the last video, maybe. Um... And I had hardly any moisture on my hair to begin with, so it really isn't damp anymore. 
my roots are really dry. They, they didn't get wet really at all. As you can see, I have, oh, just a tiny cast going on here. Um, I had so little moisture, so little product. And so the amount of cast that you can get, the level of cast is going to vary depending on how you use the product. But today we're getting a very mild, mild cast. So we want this to be just a little softer, just a little fluffier. Let's go ahead and take out these clips. And I am going to rassle up my hair here a little bit and scrunch out the crunch. And I'm going to separate just a couple of these curls here, it looks like, underneath. So remember, some of these hairs I did ribboning and some of them I didn't. Um, so some of them are a little more wavy and, and stuff than others. I didn't want to be too particular today. I was just kind of practicing and showing you guys some of these techniques. It's always a good idea to place your curls after you scrunch out the crunch. And I got great volume. I, yeah, I'm so happy about using my flaxseed cream gel lately. It's just made all the difference in the world. And uh, I think that you guys kind of forgot about that product because I started making so many other products and everything, so many different gels and sprays and mousse and all of this stuff. And this flaxseed cream gel is still amazing, so please don't forget about it. If you want to grab it on sale, let me know and I can help you find the sale post. Okay, let me turn around. I don't actually remember the last time I had this good of a refresh with as little water as I used. Wow. It feels velvety, perfectly moisturized. So anyway, that's that. Turned out great, guys. My hair is always just a little bit curlier underneath. So when I lift it up, it looks curlier, and then if I put little pins and I got more pieces. We wanted to see whether or not I had any halo frizz. Um, I don't think I do. <laughs> um, for me, halo frizz is usually like kind of gnarly, frizzy, rough pieces that stick out in between the curls and, and stuff, and I, I'm just not getting that. I mean... If you have a hair like this or something, that's just a little fly away and you just need to tuck them in and make it, you know, go back down with everything else. Comment below if you get little chunks of hair that almost always seem to not get enough product. Do you have this happen? I've got kind of a patch over there that didn't get very much. I've got two curls here that I want to define. I am going to use my defining curl cream, right? That's the way to do it because the defining curl cream is my perfecting cream. So I've got some of that right here in this little container. I have been selling these on my website in a small container because for me, this is the perfect size. I can put this in my purse or, um, or not. I can just keep it on my bathroom counter but this is all I need for months. This has set up just a little bit from the time I showed you guys the last batch, um, but it is still able to coat my fingers. Do you see that? That's how the curl cream is supposed to be. You get a thin coating on your fingers, and that's quite a lot for two curls, but um, it'll be fine. This is my highest moisture level product, so I'm gonna make sure I really distribute that throughout these two curls. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, and then I'm going to massage this in. Let's get the ends really good on this one. You can kind of wet the hair with the product, right? These hairs that end up acting like they just didn't get any attention, you're like, well, I know I put product on every single one of my hairs, right? But there's always some hairs that say, I didn't get any attention. Well, they just want extra moisture, okay? So just give it to them, all right? <laughs> just give it what they need. 
You can also do this um, touching up perfecting trick here with my flaxseed cream gel. And, uh, you know, if that's a little bit of a lighter weight product for you, you can do it that way. Or you can get back the Styler liquid and you can do it with the Styler liquid too. If a, if a clump of hair thinks it just didn't get enough attention, you just give it a little more at the end. And then this is going to bring your hair up to perfect definition. All right, there we go. <laughs> yes, tell me about it. I love the way that this shrinks up the curls and that makes it look glossy. <sighs> now, when this dries, it'll just have a very slight cast to it and I can just leave it if I want to, which is great because you just spent that extra time to make that uber defined, right? And you don't want it to get messed up. So um, you can leave that just like that and it will stay even longer. If you want to scrunch it a little, you can and it'll be fine. It's not going to frizz back out. That's up to you just depending on the level of hold that you want in your hair. All right. Yes, I'm that happy. If you guys want to get some of the products that I use today, hair clips, headband, the diffuser I didn't use today, but I use it on all the other times I diffused. And then, of course, links to each of the products I used today and all of that. Uh, links to videos that I referenced, other demos and tutorials that I have done where I have shown you these tricks on my uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to put the links. Thanks for coming and participating and supporting me. And it's just awesome. This is so much fun. All right, guys. You just have a wonderful day. And I'll see you later.